So a little bit over five years ago, Red Jacket decided to get out of the variable speed uh, pump controller technologies. And it was really, we were looking at what's developing inside the market as far as trends and pumps and how to make things work the best and most efficiently and keep sites up and running. We got out of variable speed and really put a lot of time into better understanding how to get the right flexibility in pumping configurations across sites. And we're really excited with what's going on and how we're better able to serve our customers. And today's a great example getting out here in the sunshine of Idaho, working with some uh, great contractors that are our partners in our channel to uh, demonstrate one of our better configurations. So this site, we have uh, eight retail dispensers and we have six commercial dispensers. We're gonna be feeding them from the same pump farm. When you do that and you have customers demanding from the same sides, you have to make sure that there's adequate pump capacity available. This setup has uh, a significant amount of grades. You've got uh, clear, You've got uh, ethanol, regular E10, gasoline, you've got super, you've got on-road diesel and off-road diesel, and uh, a DEF offering. This site, because of its unique configuration with the extended volumes across the pipes, really drove us very quickly into the two horsepower product range. We did not think this was a customer that wanted to step up into a six inch pump, which is our very high flow pumping because of some of the different insulation techniques that you need to use and maintenance techniques. This keeps them down in the traditional four inch line while make, making sure that they're gonna have plenty of flow for their site. So in this install, we're actually manifolding two horsepower pumps together to make sure that that capacity is uh, there. So when you install two STPs into one sump, um, you do have a little bit of uh, spacing uh, issues to, to, to um, go through, but all you need to do is take uh, ball valves on the discharge of each so that you can isolate one to work on it and then your other's up and running your site so you never have to shut your site down. And then um, you, you basically come down with your piping and uh, manifold it together with uh, T's and, and, and nipples till you uh, get the two to three dischargers that you want. When you do manifold the pump configurations, uh, if you have a pump die, you have the other one available. With one pump up, you're not at optimal flow rates, but you still are, your site's online and it's, uh, it'll hobble along during the busy times, but during the non-busy times, you won't even notice it. The customer will still get 10 gallons a minute on the retail side or 60 gallons a minute on the commercial side with one two horsepower pump. The other thing that's unique here, and we're very excited about from a Red Jacket perspective, because it's something that we're just getting excited about and putting out into the market with our customers, is we've moved the capacitors out of the underground sump and put them back into the back room inside our controller box. That's going to give you longer capacitor life because it doesn't have the temperature and humidity fluctuation. And also, when it's cold outside, you've got snow on your tank lid and you've got a bad capacitor, hey, you're drinking coffee in the back room and getting it done, keeping the site up and running. We're back at the site today to check on the completed installation and test the pumps to ensure they are working correctly. Because demand on the pumps will sharply increase when the commercial nozzles are up, we're using IQ control boxes to stage the pumps on and make sure flow remains consistent on the retail side. You can configure them such that they sense when high demand is actually needed. At approximately 60 gallons per minute of flow, that second pump will stage on to help you through those high demand times and then when it's low demand times, you only have one pump running, so you have great energy savings. And the other nice part is that when all the hooks drop off, the pump that was the master now becomes a slave, and the pump that was a slave now becomes a master, so you're wearing them down evenly. Our flow test demonstrated that by staging pumps to meet varying demand, this site will be able to support simultaneous operation of retail and commercial dispensers.